Alright fellas, this is CJ17 Invader with Syndicate Tanking, signing out with the Vindicator Ultramarines. Now I know a lot of people say that this tank is horrible, and it's worth it, it's worthless, but I've got a lot to say about this thing. Um, the only real bad thing about it is that it's the size of a house, and that it doesn't have any gun depression. Other than that, it has phenomenal armor, it has a phenomenal gun, um, it's not super inaccurate considering it's a 155 at tier 7 um there's nothing i don't like about it i mean gun depression will be great and everything but well that's a sacrifice i'm willing to make considering this thing just clobbers everything armor's good at tier up it bounces rounds from from is3s and isus even sometimes i mean it's just People hate on it because it only shoots heat shells and AG, so it, it can't shoot through barricades or tracks. But uh, that's not really a problem for me. As long as you're a good shot, you don't have anything to worry about. Now, if you look at what I'm doing right here, I almost made a rookie mistake. I almost chased after a tank with 200 hit points instead of facing off the whole team. Oh, and by the way, this thing has nearly has a tier nine reload. It has the same it has the same reload as the object 704 does with a, a tier 7. So that means it has extremely good DPM. So even if you bounce one shot 14 seconds later, you can put in another one, no problem. But, so what I did, I got up on the hill here, and then I blind shot of that guy because I could be head and wait, and I was right. Um, that was fun. And then it's a little bit of a waiting game, and then their whole team decides to push for some odd reason. Actually, they almost they almost won this. If I hadn't played this the way I did, they would have So I put a shot into the SU, angle my front plate upwards, bounce the round. Like I said, the armor on the front of this thing is phenomenal. If it didn't have armor, that would be one thing. And yeah, it'd be a horrible tank. But like, this thing's a wall. I mean, I sit here all day long and just put shot in after shot, and they struggle at long range. Close range, they can hit that hatch, and even the more accurate tanks and the more experienced players will hit that hatch all the time. But I mean, as long as you cover it or mo keep moving, it's gonna you're you're a hard tank to hit. I almost messed up really bad right here against this Black Prince. I'm glad I put the shot into the Black Prince like I did, because if I hadn't, we would have lost probably. So I'm sitting here with 47 hit points against four tanks with two teammates who are both. Well, the KV-2 has hit points, but, I, but, but the Tiger dies pretty fast. So it's me and the KV-2 against four. Put a shot in the hole the two, he misses. All he had to do was shoot me with HE. He didn't even have to aim for the hatch. I don't, I, I don't know if he knew that or not, but... So then, I know he's not going to poke out because he's still reloading. But I'm expecting the T-150 to kill him and then poke out towards me. And I was right, because here he comes. Smack. Oh, by the way, the premium beat for this has, uh, like 250 millimeters of pin or something ridiculous like that. So then I push up, load HE, spin, bounce, kill. The front of this thing is very reliable against anything that's a lower, cali a lower caliber than 120 millimeters. 120s tend to go through the upper part of the plate, but... It's space, so anything heat, anything HE is not going to be very effective against the front of this thing. And... Lots of carry. Please God, find us another target. That is how we do it. Sorry for the delay in the video. I've been trying to find some good footage to use. Um, this is a mastery game that I just had recently. In the Vindicator. Watch what I do here. Notice I don't go snipe in a corner because it's obviously not accurate enough to do that. Um, I don't push forward. I don't. I don't sit in a corner. Um, I'm just gonna get a, at a medium range push up because since I only have explosive rounds, I. Uh, I make sure there's no barricades like those boxes in my gun, in the way of my gun, because those will stop a heat and an HE shell. So instead of 
I want to do is I let this KV-13 here and that guy over in the back corner take the front of it. I know the MX-13 75 cannot hit me funnily. So I put a fat one right into him. Take cover until I'm almost loaded, push out, get ready to fire again. The next tank that moves. This guy is a nice candidate right here. Because he puts a fat one into him, so I Enemy armor is damaged. Bounce another AMX 1375 round. He's not doing anything to me. The AMX 1390 can, but not, not the 75. Anything any mediums and lights tier seven are gonna struggle with that. Wait for this guy to poke around the corner. I know he's going to. Put a fat the armor in is Back up. Use that shield to bounce the round. Because that shield is spaced armor and it's extremely thick armor. Nothing's going through it uh, at that angle. So if you can turn and get like that little part right of the tank right behind the shield behind the corner with the shield still sticking out, they're not going to pin. So I try to catch up to this guy. They're just not. <clears throat> I just don't rotate fast enough to be able to keep up with him. So instead. Now look at this IS, thinking initially I might have a shot, which I won't get, but I turn, keep him in check, he sees me aiming, he's not going to poke out. I turn, check the AMX-13, look at the IS, keep the IS back into the last possible second, turn the corner, HE loaded, fire straight into the train car, blast him into next week. T-43, uh, take the IS's attention away from me. The IS isn't even really paying attention to me. He's all about that T-43 and what he can do to him. And, you know, that's fine with me. I try to put a shot under this train car, back up, get my gun down low enough, but the RNG just didn't roll right. I hit just high, too high on the shot. I hit that train wheel. And that's fine. It wasn't really an important shot. t 43 is going to take another shot, which I could have prevented but it was going to happen either way. So then I load, wait for him to back up again, aim, smack. I was extremely vulnerable. I could have killed him, but that's all right. And then he's about to get deleted by the Sentinel, I believe, or the T-29. Yeah, probably the T-29 is going to kill him. And then, let's see, hope kills him. Turn and I play ring around the ring around the rosy with this AC4 Sentinel right here. Bounce. He can't pin me from the side even with he, he's not going to. And it's all well and good until the T29 comes up from over here on the left. Yep, on cue. So now I'm more I turn my side a little bit because I'm more worried about that fat T29 around going through. Because he can actually pin my front if I'm not careful. Bust a fatty Enemy vehicle destroyed. Another T29 round. Wiggle. Make it extremely hard to hit. Get my gun hit. with APCR. No damage. Hook that shield forward. Rely on that shield to do some bouncing for me. Ding. See if you can keep the body of the tank and just expose the, the bulldozer part, they're not going to pin easily. It would take an ISU to go through that. That hatch right there. He's got a nice clean shot on that. And that's fine. Um, because I've already pretty much dominated their team at this point. Ram. Another fat one into him. Back up. Cover that tank corner. Let the shield stick out. We've cleared the viewport. Keep your eyes open. And uh load HE and finish him off. And that is a big indicator right there, fellas. Not a problem for the Vindicator. See, that's a fat mastery right there. 4,300 damage, tier 7, 1,358 XP. T29 played well. Uh, he just couldn't handle the way I play the Vindicator. And uh, that's really what I want to see when I play this tank, is using that shield covering up this part, using buildings to expose just the shield. Even the edge of the shield, that won't... That's spaced armor, that doesn't count as hit points, so 
that's not a hitbox, so it'll just bounce if they shoot anything on the front end of the tank gun. The part above the gun, I believe, is a slight weak spot. Um, that hatch is a weak spot, but if you're moving, it's going to be very hard to hit. See, even that, nobody's going through that. If you turn and cover the right part of this tank here and just expose that shield, they're not going through. Even ISUs, T-34s, they're, they're not going to go through. Um, T-34 is a problem a lot of times unless you are really careful, but it's got the same armor profile as the T-29, and I can, and even with the, with the pin on this heat, I can go through, let's see, average penetration for the second heat is 248 millimeters. Let's go look at the T-34 real quick. The T-34 has only 102 millimeters of front armor angled, so at a, it's about at a 45 degree angle, I'd say. So, uh, it's, it's sharper than 45, but heat will just go straight through that, not a problem. Um, even IS-5s, where they have their 120 millimeters of front armor, the secondary heat will go through that lower plate, and if their corner is turned to you, it'll go through that upper plate. IS-3, same thing. The low, you can pin, uh, you can pin the turret cheeks, you can pin the lower plate. That upper plate is very, very hard to pin unless you're above it, but you will go through. Um, Glacial's not really a problem. I don't face very many glacials with the Vindicator. Um, the only tank it really struggles with uh, overall is the Predator because if a Predator is hull down, which is hard, but I've seen it done, that turret cannot be pinned by the Vindicator be just because that hatch is so small and your tank is so inaccurate. Um, but taking a look at like the IS-6, it has hard to pin sides, but if you hit the part above the tracks, you're going to go through side, rear side turret, back of turret, on anything will just destroy it. It'll struggle with the super pershing frontally and on the sides, unless you hit the turret, just because the super pershing is covered in spaced armor, and the super pershing has a crap ton of armor, 177 millimeters angled. This got one of the best armor profiles in the tier. But overall, the Vindicator just doesn't really struggle with anything, and it's a great credit maker. That's what I use to recover after buying new tanks, like the one I just bought today, the AMX-5120, still grinding out that stock gun. I'll release a video on that when I have time. But, yeah, this is my main credit-earning tank at the moment, that and the Type 59. And man, I really, really like it. Um, a lot of people hate on it, and I don't know why. I guess they just don't know how to use the armor or the gun. Like, a lot of people hate on it because it doesn't have armor-piercing shells, so it can't shoot through barricades. But honestly, it's got a bulldozer for a reason, uh, and that is to push over barricades and bounce rounds. And it does a pretty damn good job of it. It's great for ambushing anything with not spaced armor. And I don't know, it's just a really good tank overall. And if you ever have the opportunity to get it, I would definitely recommend getting it. Um, and that is all. This is CJ17 Evader signing out.